Yeah, we're looking out the window upon the world. There's people everywhere. And people, as we know, present a risk to clean rooms. And the primary bacterium that's recovered from clean rooms is one called Micrococcus luteus. So what is this organism? Let's take a look. Hello, Tim Sandal here, back with another clean room related video. And this video is going to be looking at the most common microorganism that is recovered from aseptic areas where there's a personnel presence. And this is a bacterium called Micrococcus luteus. So what is there to learn and understand about this organism? And what can it teach us about clean room behaviours? Well, first of all, what does Micrococcus luteus look like? Well, it stains when we conduct the gram stain, which we've mentioned on previous videos, uh, positive, which gives it a purple-blue colour. And the shape of this organism is cocoidal, which is a kind of a spherical formation. It's also what's called a saprotrophic bacterium, and that's an organism that feeds on non-living organic matter such as skin detritus and even upon other uh, dead bacteria. And when we look at the gram stain, so this is the image on the left hand side, then we can see also that it forms distinctive um, shape patterns. So these are what's known as tetrads or semi-irregular clusters. So this helps a microbiologist to identify the organism. Another um, clue as to the organism is that when it's streaked out onto an agar plate, so we've got a nutritive agar plate on the right hand side, the colonies are circular, there's a very clear yellow pigmentation, and you look at the colonies a little bit more closely, then they're convex and smooth. So this is the distinctive pattern of Micrococcus luteus. And it belongs to a wider family that includes the Staphylococci, and these are the Micrococaceae. Okay, so all well and good, but where is this organism found? Well, you can get a clue from the uh, picture on the slide. Hopefully it's not making you want to scratch your skin as well. So it's found in soil, dust and water, but fundamentally it's part of the human skin flora particularly from the head, arms and legs. And micrococci are carried by 96% of the population and 90% with this particular species, Micrococcus luteus. And if we focus on a um, skin location, then we typically recover about 56 colonies per 8 square centimetres of skin. And we get some um, particular sites um, also uh, on the arms and also a little bit around the nose as well. Um, and we gather this from like swab studies. Um, other interesting fact about Micrococcus luteus is that it um, smells a bit pongy. And it's one of the um, organisms that um, causes body odour. So it causes um, an unpleasant smell when it's breaking down the components of sweat. So if you're not using a deodorant, then some of that smell that you're getting is going to be the Micrococcus luteus. And there's other organisms as well that play a part in body odour, like Staphylococcus hominis, Staphylococcus epidermidis, and Cutie bacterium avidum. Um, uh, but they're more like processing uh, acetic acid, it's luteus that's processing the sweat. And this organism grows best at 37 degrees Celsius, and the reason it grows best at that temperature is because that's close to the human body temperature. Another characteristic about Micrococcus luteus is that it's a pretty tough organism. Um, so it can withstand massive doses of ultraviolet radiation. And also, in other locales outside the clean room, it's also pretty good at degrading things like petrol. 
But another remarkable thing about Micrococcus luteus is his ability to show dormancy. Now, most often the organisms that can survive uh, best in clean rooms for long periods of time are those that can form spores, as we've looked at in another video. Um, but Micrococcus luteus has the ability to enter into a dormant state, although it can't form spores. Um, and this is because it only needs one factor for resuscitation. So it's easy to trigger uh, a growth state and also it can survive and then be recovered. Um, and also, and a, just a different non-clean room example as well, um, another uh, example of how hardy this, this bacterium is, is that it has successfully been resuscitated from fossilised amber. So it's part of this mechanism that allows it to survive for long periods in clean rooms. And it can also grow relatively well with, with little water and also in conditions that have fairly high salt um, concentrations. Now, Microcox luteus is mostly harmless to us. We're carrying it on our skin all the time. But any bacterium under a particular set of conditions has the potential to cause an imbalance. And one of the factors about Micrococcus luteus is that it can become an opportunistic pathogen and be responsible for some hospital infections and particularly skin infections. So this is normally in people with weak immune systems who have um, the inability to address the normal balance of bacteria. So, and in particular serious cases, it can actually cause septic shock in the immunocompromised. Um, it's spread fairly easily, so it's naturally on our skin, so it's spread uh, through poor hand washing practices. Um, so, how is it found in clean rooms? Well, it's found in clean rooms, partly due to um, the fact that people are in clean rooms, but more often due to inadequate aseptic techniques, poor gowning practices, insufficient clean room management, insufficient cleaning and disinfection, uh, but mainly it's through due to um, rapid movements, inability to wash hands, the natural organism that, that can be shed um, under non-ideal conditions. And we know this because it's the most common organism found and it grows readily on the common uh, culture medium for um, monitoring clean rooms, which is tryptone soya agar. And the kind of final point about Micrococcus luteus I want to make is that the main transmission path is going to be direct or indirect contact with um, a person to an object or an object that's not been cleaned properly to a more critical location. So surface transfer is a fundamental risk factor. Okay, so this brings this video to an end. It's been about Micrococcus luteus, the most common bacterium recovered in a typical clean room. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Tim Sandal and I'll be back with you with another video fairly soon. Good luck with the rest of your day. Goodbye, bye.